What can you see through your telescope? Look to the sky. Look to the ground. Look left. Look right. Look all around. <gasps> There's a shark in the park. <laughs> Hello, <laughs> I'm Miranda and I teach young children English as a second language through drama. And this is my homemade telescope that I use when, to accompany this fantastic book. Now, in the moment, I'm going to show you how to make this telescope with your young language learners. But first of all, let me introduce to you this book called Shark in the Park by Nick Sharrett. Now, I, I love lots of uh, Nick Sharrett's books, and this is another one of my favourites called Shark in the Park, and it's about a little boy called Timothy who has a new telescope, and he goes to the park to try out his new, his new toy. And what happens when he goes to the park is that he believes that he can see through his telescope a shark. <gasps> Oh my goodness me! But is it really a shark? Hmm, the children, your students will have to find out and see. This is what I love about this book. It's very interactive. The text is very simple. The colours of the book are very bright and beautiful and interactive. And the text, it is simple and repetitive. It uses repetitive language, which is great for young language learners because they have those opportunities, especially with this book, to practice um, directions. Because Timothy, Timothy Pope, he has to look through his telescope and he looks up to the sky, he looks to the ground, he looks at different directions with his telescope, left and right and all around, which is great to do to practice with your students. And let's have a look, is it really a shark? We'll have to look and see, let's turn the page. <gasps> no, it isn't. It's a black cat. It isn't a shark at all, it's a black cat. So then the story continues, it repeats the language again, and uh, the children can practice with their telescope all different directions. So now I'm going to show you how to make this very, very simple homemade telescope that you can make um, at home for yourself or more importantly, with your students too, in a bit of arts and crafts session. So let's get to it. Let's find out how we can make this simple telescope. So first of all, what you'll need, let's have a look at the materials that you'll need first of all, are two empty kitchen rolls like this, some long ones. Um, you'll need, um, I have a plastic glass here, uh, um, but I think a paper cup is, is more uh, eco-friendly. You'll need some tissue paper. I've got black tissue paper because my telescope is black, but you can use any colour tissue paper you like. Then some card. As I said, I'm using, I'm, I made a black telescope, so I've got black card, but any colour card you want. Two pieces of that to cover two tubes. Some strips of card to cover the, your, um, the, the tops and the bottoms of your telescope. And some coloured stickers to decorate your telescope. Okay, so then you'll also need some sellotape. I'm using a stapler to be fast by making the buy one today, but you can use with your students some glue, a stick glue and some scissors. Now remember, if you're using scissors in class with your students, uh, either you, the teacher, use the scissors or you get the, 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 the child-friendly rounded tip scissors for them to use themselves. So let's get making our telescope. Oh! So first of all, you've got one whole empty uh, kitchen roll. The other one, you're actually just going to cut down the middle with your scissors and open it like that. Can you see? I've just cut it down the middle very, very quickly. And what you're going to do is you're just going to fold it slightly and then you're just going to stick it. So because this piece here is actually going to fit inside this other tube. So to be really fast, I'm just going to staple, but you, with your students, you can just stick it with sellotape and that's super fantastic. So there we have, we have our beginnings of our telescope. If I just take this one out, so you see you've got two tubes. Now let's cover those first of all with black card and then we'll get on to making the end part of the telescope as well. So we're going to cover these tubes with black card. So you, could, you would glue the black card on with some stick glue. I'm just being really, really fast here now, like that. Okay, I've just done that one there. I've put just some tape on this to be really quick. 
Oops, got it round the wrong way. Hang on. Let's do that one up there like that. That's a, my, my one's a bit wonky. Yours is going to be much better than mine. And then I'm just going to staple it just to be sure that it doesn't come undone. And then we have the two tubes already made. Yeah, so we've got those done. Which one? That looks better like that, actually. Okay, we're going to cover them with card anyway. So if it's not perfect, like I've done, you're going to cover it with some strips of card anyway. Let's do the end of this part of the telescope, which is you're going to have your little glass, your, your uh, paper cup, and you're just going to get your tissue paper, a piece of your tissue paper, and you're going to cover it. Right, I'm just going to get some tape, a little bit of tape here. Uh, I say a little bit, and that's a really massive... <laughs> so throw that bit away. Let's get a little tiny bit of tape, like this, That'll be, that we can fix there. I would just use some glue, but I finished my glue, so I'm just using some sellotape there going to roll it up and then we're just going to tuck that in that part in there like that okay and then you can just scrunch that other bit up like that and put a little bit more tape on there actually just to hold it or some glue just to hold that there okay so there you've got the end part of your telescope now what you're going to do is you're going to take this end here and you're going to cut some little strips because then just to um help position the, the the cup inside so it will fit inside and then we're just going to tape it so it just will open that can you see that just going to open it a little bit so we can squeeze our little cup inside so let me just open it slightly like that and we can put our cup it will fit should fit nicely inside there like that okay perfect then we're just going to tape that. doesn't matter you're really perfect with a tape because then um, we're going to cover it anyway with some, with a little bit of card. So it's just to hold it there. Let's see if I've got another bit of tape here. Let's see if I can... <laughs> there we are. So I've got that. It's a bit wonky, but it doesn't matter. A bit like me, I'm a bit wonky. <laughs> there we are. So really, really simple. And we have this other part here that goes into the air. Now, all that's left to do is to decorate it with some strips. So let's do the top part here. So let's do, if you can see that. I'm just going to go around the edge like that. Okay, so we have that top part there. Really, really simple, okay. Then we're just gonna go around this bottom part here. If, I, if you can see, we're getting there, yeah, we're getting there slowly, but surely we're getting there. We're going to go around the bottom part of the telescope here. I'm just going to staple it actually. So that's makes it really extra fast to do. If I can get it properly measured up. Hang on. Take some some concentration, Miranda. You need to concentrate lots and lots. <laughs> Okay, so we've got the bottom part. Yes, it's looking good. It's looking wonky, but it's looking okay. Look, we can straighten that out. That looks better, actually. So we've got that part now. Now all we need is our inside part of the telescope. So again, we're just going to get our strips of paper, of card, and you can stick them with glue, or just as I'm doing to be really fast, just get a stapler. I use the stapler for everything. Anybody knows me. They know I just staple, staple everything, you know, even with my son, if he's broken something, oh, just staple it, just staple it together. You know, hole in his socks, staple them, staple them. <laughs> oh dear, hot glue gun and a stapler and I'm happy. Right, let's staple this one as well. Okay, so we're going to go round really fast like that. Okay, so if you can see, this is our one, isn't it? Yep. So there you have, oh, yes. You've got your telescope, all that's left. I mean, I've just made it in two seconds flat. Well, I wouldn't say two seconds, but two minutes. <laughs> and all that's left to do now is just to decorate it with some, with some stickers, which the kids will really like it to stick onto. So I've just got some little stickers here. You can have big stickers, little stickers. And we're just going to put the stickers on. Let me show you. They can, you could use colored paper. Um, some coloured pens, 
whatever whatever you have handy there something that will that will show up though on the dark colored card so i'm just going to put some stickers around here like this i'm going to get carried away and, and spend half an hour putting my stickers on <laughs> you have to bear with me i've got to put my stickers stickers on the telescope wait a minute here we are <laughs> Now, what is going to be fun with this telescope, apart from telling the wonderful story by Nick Sharrett, Shark in the Park, is going to be you can practice directions with your students. So well after you've told the story, you can carry on practicing directions with them. So let me just see if that's stuck on. So here we are. Here we have our telescope. So you can start saying to them left and they have to look left. Then you can say up and they have to look up, down, down, back. And they turn around, they go back, right. And they look right. Yes. All around, all around, all around, all around, all around. I mean, obviously when you're practicing directions, you can just mime it and say, look up look down but when you have something that the children have actually made and that they can actually use as a prop not only brings a little bit of theatricality to the lesson but a little bit more interest as well with practicing something very basic like directions so look left yes look right look up down around yay ahoy there i can see a shark <gasps> or a boat or a ship or land, an island. What can we see? We could all become pirates even. So then you can go into something else, another story with your telescopes. So there we have a homemade telescope done in two minutes that is very easily made also with your students that they can, something that they can also take home and practice their directions with at home too. So there we are. Here we have the book, Shark in the Park by Nick Sharrett. Here we have your telescope. And that's it for today. Until next time, remember, be theatrical.